little um, trial uh, to test out this hollow lens. Uh, I've got a 3D model that I built uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it's sort of some sewers under the streets in London. So uh, hopefully this is all recording. You can see that I'm in a I'm in a open area. Just come over here, just somewhere quiet, just to do a bit of testing. Um, so let's load this up and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So first of all, it's just uh, loading the uh, the 3D model, and I have to use uh, my hand to air tap to place the model, and the model all comes out quite small when you first load it and you can see it just in front of me here so what I can do is make that model bigger and just bring it right up as large as I can get it okay and uh, you've reached the limit to the scale uh, do you want to jump to street view no I don't want to jump to street view just yet what I want to do is I just want to have a little walk around this model and, um, and just show you the kind of detail uh, that I put into the 3D model when I built it. Okay, so this was um, Spurt Street up in London. So although you can't see it, but up around this area here, there was some uh, buildings and this sewer uh, came down there's an entry point there, you can see you go down the stairs, uh, it's called a side entry, and then you end up inside the sewer, and it run all the way along underneath these buildings, and then here uh, was uh, the foreshore of the River Thames, and this is called a tide flex valve, okay? So opens and closes when the water comes in and out of the Thames. I think the idea is, is for the tidal water to stop pushing up the, uh, up the sewer so yeah as you can see uh, pretty impressive um, obviously the more detail you put into these models uh, the better uh, the better visuals you'll get so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into a street view so if I navigate uh, and I'll go to street view okay and then I can use my air tap and I can enter into the model. Let's see what happens. So I'll click there. Right, here we go. So that's brought up the model. Um, just placed it. And I can walk around. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get on top of the manhole. So this is actually to scale. Um, so I want to try and get this a little bit closer. So if I put out my hand, I believe that I can fly. So here we go. A little little man comes up in front of me, and I'm flying. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna just get this a little bit closer. Okay. So uh, the conditions that I'm doing this in at the moment are. It's very overcast, um, which I think is really helping the visuals. I'll have a little look up around so you can see. But the actual view inside uh, the hollow lens uh, is, is very good. Um, I'm quite impressed with that, being that we're out in the... Uh, we're out in daylight. Um, so... What I've done, I want to get myself onto the manhole. I think uh, that is. Hold on, let's move right. Okay, that's it. That's sink now. So literally, I've got the manhole, uh, and it's on the floor, right, where it would be on site. So that's good. And now um, I can walk around. Imagine if I've I'd done a confined space entry on this, so I actually went down inside this tunnel. So I walked here and then walked along. You can see I went down the stairs. So it's really interesting because what I want to see is I want to take this up to Spurtex Street and I want to actually align it to site uh, to see what it actually looks like. 
uh, out there because uh, I've been down in the confined space um, I know it really well so I can really tell how well aligned this will be out on site but um, yeah it's pretty awesome as you can see I'm, I'm walking above the tunnel it gives you um, it gives you the feeling of depth so from the ground level um, to the top of the side entry tunnel uh, it really does give you the, the sense of depth the headset itself the hard hat is reasonably comfortable I find when I'm looking down I have to hold the hollow lens uh, with my hands to get a really decent view you can see that I'm literally right above this tunnel here it's pretty awesome um, I'm very impressed by this uh, I've got I've got um, I've got a good use for this uh, I'm, I don't construct um, but all of the people that I work with they do and I've been quite excited to show this to them to help them visualize uh, this um, these tunnels and underground pipes on site I think it's got a use uh, I think there's a lot of training going to be needed just to get used to using the, uh, using the hollow lens uh, but hopefully you can see in this video how impressive it is all of the uh, information that I've collected um, in the topographical part of the survey you can see all of them uh, hopefully you can see that uh, what I'm looking at right now so I've got ID 94 which is SH spot I and then a level was 6.655 you can see the road lines the curve line that I collected when I was out on site oh I modeled in a street light there so you can see the street light um, there's a white object here oh yeah I remember what that was that was a wall so I modeled in a wall you can see the cycle lane and then all of the um, all of the road lines. Um, what's this over here? I'm gonna have a walk over here. There's a it's a storm manhole entrance. There's some there's a washout and a fire hydrant. There's the wall. And I look back again. Okay, yeah. Uh, it even brings up the text on the um, on the the actual model itself the the tunnel that i've modeled in uh, all of this was modeled from point cloud data um, from inside the actual tunnel so 2.24 brick barrel sewer okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to try an air tap and then go down inside this tunnel let's see what happens um yeah i think it's below me still so i need to get down lower um i may have to fly Let's see if I can fly into the tunnel. It's quite, I'm trying to get this thing to fly. Is, oh, here we go, right, so yeah, here we go. So I'm flying down, right, okay. So this has put me in a tunnel. I know that because this pink was the water level uh, that I'd done. Um, it's hard for you to see that, but, well, you can see the path of the tunnel if I look back the other way. Yeah, but the actual, I can't actually see the walls of the tunnel, but if I come out, I'm guessing, yeah, there you go. So when I come out, you can see the walls of the tunnel. Yeah, <laughs> that's really impressive. Right the way through to scale, and come back in it. Uh, what's that along there? Let's see if I can fly along here. Fly. I don't quite work out how you fly. Let's, let's try and tap there. Okay, I'm stuck here at the moment, trying to get this thing to fly. There must be a, a certain way that you do it. I can't quite work out. I think it's because this uh, cursor for the street view is, oh, here we go, right, so, Let's get along here. I'm sort of kind of bending down now. And then we go and go through. I don't know if I can look up inside 
not really. Once you're inside, you kind of you kind of better off coming out out of out of it, and then yeah, out of the tunnel, and then you can you can look better. Yep. Okay. So let's try and fly down the other end because there's a point of interest down the other end which was quite interesting uh, just to show you the detail I've got to try and work out how to fly again down there oh look there's a side entry so there's the steps oh, it's almost I can it's like almost I can walk up the steps yeah okay all right, let's let's try and get this thing to fly again and get to the other end, or at least tap down there. Here we go. Gonna have to keep on tapping until I reach there, I think. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to this uh, technology. Um, I'm not doing too bad so far, but I think it will improve in time. So this is what I wanted to show you down at this end. Um, I need to try and get that raised up. Oh, yeah, so if I air tap onto what was the foreshore, hopefully that'll raise up. Hmm, can't get it to raise up. I'll make sure there's nothing behind me. Yeah, so, okay, all right, I'm going to leave it as it is. And then you can, you can see the detail in, uh, in the model. I'll try and snap into there. It's it's quite hard to get into certain certain places. Oh, here we go. What's happening here? So I want I want this to raise up really in front of me, but uh, at the moment I can't do that. So let's try uh, navigate. Let's try and go to. Um, uh, well, let's go back to a bird's eye view, see what happens there. Right, okay. So, I'm back here. And let's get this model again. Uh, oh, no, air tap to make it large. Yep, okay. Oh, that's at full scale again now. So, let's try and go back in and then navigate and then go to street view. And let's try and get that to where I am here. Okay. Is that any better? Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. It's still still low. I, I want it to be higher. But anyway. Um, for now, it will do. You, I think you get the idea. Just, just basically trying to show you everything I can while I'm out doing this trial. But anyway... I think that's going to sort of draw this to an end. I'm really impressed uh, by this technology. Um, I think uh, the HoloLens 2 augmented reality with 3D models on site is going to become very popular. And I'm going to do my best to uh, help people uh, use this type of technology. Um, and bit like virtual reality uh, I've been playing around with virtual reality for years now uh, and the VR has really really moved forward in the last year or year about a year it's all about the technology of the headsets they just got better and better so HoloLens 2 right now is excellent um, I'll give it uh, definitely a 9 out of 10 for, uh, for what I've learned with it so far um, I think Hollows Lens 3 um, will be really interesting and one of the things that would be on my wish list for that would be the field of view. The field of view in here is good, um, but as an improvement, a wider field of view would be, uh, would be brilliant. Uh, I'm sure they'll get it done. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video um, I hope it's come out all right uh, if you've got any questions you can contact me uh, 
yeah my contact details are uh, are on my website or on my youtube channel um so yeah hope to hear from you i'll get this all closed down <laughs> Okay.